Hey everybody, welcome back to Idrisil as our Norse heroes continue to try to push back the apocalypse. Okay, so it's Freya's turn. First thing we're going to see, who is she up against? Ah, okay, it's Needhog. So this is the other snake. This is the one that famously curls itself around the roots of Yggdrasil, the world tree. You can actually see he's all kind of, you know, he's basically choking the tree uh, down the roots. That's in, 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 in history, that's what he did. It's really nice. There's lots of little touches for fans of Norse mythology all over the board. But anyway, so he's going to move forward. And he's a real jerk because what his power is, and whenever he activates, he moves forward the enemy who is in last place. Now, there are three enemies, so we get to choose. He could pull forward the dragon, or Loki, or the wolf. You know what? Since Freya is really good at fighting the dragon, we'll have the dragon move forward because Freya is queued up to push him right back. Whereas nobody's particularly good at fighting Loki, and I'm, I'm okay at the wolf, but let's pull the dragon up, and Freya can just push that right back. So that's what he does. So he speeds the game up. Every time he moves, he pulls somebody with him, or even pushes somebody ahead of him, if that's the case. Uh, right. So, let's see here. Now, with that in mind, he's done. Freya is up. She's got three actions, and she might have been thinking about something else, but hey, maybe she's going ahead and push that serpent back. She's got three actions. I think, for starters, we'll continue to try to push up the garden. What is the name of that garden? Uh, that's the, the Dwarven Forge, the Ice Fortress, the World of the Dead, the World of Darkness, the World of Elves. Oh, I don't even know why I'm bothering with this. It doesn't matter. But I've done, now i just got to know. All right, it's not Midgard. It's not the Dwarven Forge. It's not the World of Elves. It's not the World of Darkness. It's not the World of the Dead. It's not the Kingdom of Fire. It's not the Ice Fortress. It's the Sacred Land. Of course, it's the last one on the list. All right, so, so her first thing is she's moved up on the sacred land. So we're, we're trying to build up so that if we can get up to here, we've got you know kind of an ace in our sleeve. If we're ever in a situation where we're up against the wall and we can't push somebody back, we could always push somebody back if we move that up. And in fact, don't forget, she can do something twice. So what the heck? She's just going to spend half her turn pushing this all up. I pushed up once, she pushed up twice. She has one more action. She's going to go on ahead and fight her using um, Mjolnir. Thor's hammer, she's going to push that sea dragon back. Right, so first, she has a total of three. She needs a total of five to push him back. How many is she going to commit? If she commits two, she's already succeeded. So she doesn't need to roll, but that's kind of wasteful. If she commits one, she has the elf as a backup. So that means she can guaranteed succeed. If she commits no humans, then she fails if she draws snake eyes. But here's the thing. I mean, You've got to take chances like that. You can take them early, or when the game goes on and you start running out of time, you'll take the chances late when everything's against you. So I think she's going to be a bit ballsy and not use any of her Vikings. She's going to um, trust that she has a 66% chance of getting a success. So she's got her hammer, she's not using any Vikings, and she does not have enough elves to finish the job. But that means the pressure's on. Do not roll blanks. So, no problem. She's just going to roll... She's going she's gonna to roll black. That's what she's going to do. Um, always bet on black. That's Freya saying. All right, here we go. Boom! That is not black. That is the opposite of black. So, she took a chance and she failed. She has zero plus three. She could use the elf for four, but that doesn't get her to the five. So, she wastes an action. But you know what? Like I said, the game is designed. As these guys are pushing and we're running out of time and we're really stretched, you have to take big risks. Um, but... She has now, she took a risk now, she's still got these people on hand, she can use them later. So, say la vie, that was it for her, back over to Frey, first thing. All right, that, ooh, that serpent is moving up some more, and he is, and our, so our time on the Green Island is pushed all the way back. Oh, Freya should have recruited some more before we got bumped down. And now we find out what new island is sunk. There's a blue, so boom, the blue island is sunk. So we can go to the White Island, but if we want to get to these good, now we can get to the Black Island, but it would take several turns to get all the way over there. And this dragon could, you know, reset us anytime you want. So it's kind of a risk to try and get over there. But remember, the Black Bag has the best return on, you know, digging for Viking souls. So anyway, so that was that. He's got his four actions. I think his first action, he's going to get, well, the wolf is tame. So he doesn't even need to fight the wolf right now. You know what? I think his first action is going to be to get a weapon to fight Hell, because Hell has really been running up. So he'll get whatever it's called, a drop near. So he's got his second ancient weapon. That's his first action. His second action will be to... Does he want to recruit? 
No, his second action will be, boom, we've got it. Now, whenever we need it, we can push back. Now, we, we can cash this in, reset this, and do any of these actions that we've built up for, but I suspect the best one is, well, is, is the one we worked hard to get to. If ever we're about to lose, we can push back. And we don't need to push, all we could push up to if we're ever we're in a big situation and we need to get rid of one of these frost giants, we could jump up there. But heck, Loki hasn't even shown up, so we don't even have any frost giants to worry about. This has been crazy. We've been avoiding frost giants so far. So his first action was, he's pushed that up the rest of the way. His second action will be, be. Now we're back down to the White Island. I think it might be worthwhile trying to clear this bag out a little bit, do some bag maintenance and get rid of some fire demons. So his second action is going to be he draws five and um, excises any fire giants. One, two, three, four, five. Oh my god, that's terrible. <laughs> so I excise one fire giant. That was pathetic. And all these Vikings go back in. All right. So that was his second action. Third action, what the heck? Let's just go on ahead and throw these Vikings back in. So now the white bag, well, it's pretty good. All right, and for fourth action, yeah, what the heck? Let's do it, and let's go getting some more humans. We're really trying to build up our defenses, shore up our defenses early this game. But you don't have to. You can just go hard and heavy. I mean, let's see. One, I want three Vikings. I just threw a bunch of Vikings in there. I just pulled one demon out. I don't want to see any fire demons or fire giants in my hand here. What? Oh! Boom. That was pathetic. Frey did not have a very good turn. He moved up. He did both of these actions. All right, that was a pretty pathetic turn, Frey. Not impressed. Let's hope your sister can do better. First things first, though. Who's up? Loki is on first. The god of lies, the trickster god, has made himself appear. He is on the board. His thing is, depending on his power level, he summons that many frost giants. His power level is one. He hasn't moved up here yet. So, we get our first frost giant. Hello, um, Burgle Mirror. This is not a great frost giant. Although, I mean, they're all bad. As long as these guys stick around, they have a permanent game-changing effect. This guy is normally... All Frost Giants need a three power to defeat, but now, as long as this guy's around, they need four power to defeat. So that's kind of a bummer. He sticks around here. So, that's it. Um, I think, yeah, actually, yeah, you've seen every single bad guy do their stuff. And the further to the right they get, the worse they get. So, Freya, what are you going to do? Uh, Freya is going to engage her mortal enemy and push that sea dragon back. And, right, so she, she uh, before he crossed the line, because as soon as he crossed the line, she know, he's becomes more powerful. Right now she needs a five. When he crosses the line, she needs a six. So it's time to push that um, one back into the sea. Although, you know, interesting thing we could do, she could trade first and get a bunch more Vikings or elves. You know what? She's going to trade first and take both of my elves, and this we have to agree on it, and with that, she'll take a couple of Vikings. She'll, all right, so we've split up our Vikings, and now she's got lots of elves. So that was her first action. We engaged in some trade. Second action, she's going to fight. She's not going to use, no, in fact, actually, she took my elves, but she gave me all the Vikings, because we could trade however we wanted back and forth. If there were multiple players, though, you can only trade with one of them when you do this um, action. So she took elves. She gave me Vikings. Now for her second action, she's going to wield Molier. She's going to roll black and push that, that serpent back to the sea. That ain't bad. Three plus two is five. Back, you beastie. So that was her second action. And her special power is she can fight again. Nobody else can do two actions, can visit two areas twice, but she can visit Asgard again. She's going to push him back a second time. Let's go. Always bet on black. Booyah! Three plus three. We are not worried about that C. And she's still got these as a backup. She's fine. And meanwhile... Our, her brother has all the Vikings in the world. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Okay, so let's see what's next up. Loki, he is making up for lost time. He bumps up again. He brings out another frost giant. And, ooh, now this is the frost giant that flips this. Previous, currently, the blue island is, um, what do you call it, submerged? Which means we cannot, we can move here and move past the Kitabella Islands, but we cannot draw from the blue bag because it's submerged. But now the storms are turbulent because of the effects of Heimir, the frost giant. It is now a whirlpool. 
And not only can we not um, recruit from the blue bag, we can't even move here anymore because of the storm. We are, this is a wall. We cannot move to the right until we defeat this frost giant, at which point the seas subside and we can start moving around again. All right, so that was uh, Loki. And, the, and now here's another interesting thing too. Both of these guys, uh, the, there's two things about the uh, frost giants. You, as long as they're around, they have their negative effect. But when we defeat them, we start to build a rune. And you can see we kind of got lucky. These guys are both building the blue rune. Once we have found and defeated the four frost giants who have the blue rune, we will immediately unlock the blue effect, which is, what is it, mass mana, move one enemy three spaces backwards. So there's this whole kind of set collection element to the game, where you want to be attacking frost giants, trying to build the runes. There's four different ones. There's tw um, so, And each one of them, I mean, it's like a tactical nuke. Pushing one bad guy back three spaces when they're all the way over here about to cross into Odin's palace and lose us the game, pushing them back three is a huge thing. Or one of them is collect 15 guys from the underworld. They're all incredibly powerful, but we need to be fine. And the interesting thing is we don't have to wait for Loki to bring out frost giants. We can just fight the top frost giant. We don't even know what it is, but we can fight them and beat them. So it's basically, we can start trying to collect the runes. Now, Jen and I, in this game, we've mostly been collecting elves and people, but we could have been collecting runes. Or we could have just been, you know, fighting them back every step of the way. Or we could have been focusing on making sure the Valkyrie stayed over here so we get, you know, better. Or, well, we've done a little bit of everything. The main thing we haven't been doing so far, we've been leaving the frost giants. And so, anyway, that was Loki. Loki came out. It's Frey's turn. I think since Hell is still sitting, his first thing, he's going to upgrade his Hell fighting weapon. Where is it? Level two. Um, or we could get to level three of the dog, but no, we'll take level two. So now the dog is calm, just pacified, but Hell's about to cross over. So I was his first action. He now has a level two uh, weapon for fighting Hell. He could go on ahead and use it, or we could wait till next turn when he gets the level three. Now with a level two, he, he needs five. Assuming he were to get a good roll, that means if he gives up two Vikings and rolls a blue, he will push Hell back. Or he could give up three Vikings and then it doesn't even matter what he rolls. Does he want to take a chance? You know what, he's got enough Vikings, he's not even gonna take the chance. He's just gonna go on ahead and commit three Vikings before rolling. That means he's got a total of five. There's no reason to roll. Although we've only, oh well, who knows? Okay, anyway, so we've pushed Hell back. All right, his, that was his second action. He upgraded his weapon, he pushed Hell back. He's got two more actions now. We could recruit, we could, he could start trying to pull some more demons out of the bag. You can see there's a lot of demons in there. So I think his third thing is he's gonna try and pull some more fire demons out of the bag and then recruit some more humans, some more Vikings. So his third action, I get to draw five. I wanna see nothing but red in my hand. One, two, three, four, five. Well, that's a little better than before, but not much. All right, so he excised two fire giants. I keep calling them demons, but they're giants, they're fire giants. Just like these are ice giants or frost giants. All right, so that was his third action, and now his fourth action is he, well, he'll do the Valkyries, but he cannot move. We're stuck here, so we'll just stay at the White Island, and he's gonna draw three and get some more followers. One, two, come on, Valkyries, don't let me down. Three. That, there you go. Oh my gosh, he's got all the followers in the world. All right, so that was it. Back over to Freya. Loki, wow, I promise, I did shuffle these cards. So Loki is the first to make it into Asgard. He is now at level two. That means he summons two frost giants. This one makes um, Surt one level stronger. As long as this frost giant is around, Surt has become tougher to beat. Now we need this six to beat him. And the second frost giant is this guy. This guy is going to block a location. There, You can see this the X through this particular rune. It's like the arrow rune. So where is the arrow rune? It is the arrow rune. Oops, I need to put this back. Ah, it's this action. Um, so as long as this frost giant, what's his name? Uh, Gear, Gearud is around, we can no longer visit the dwarves and get better weapons. So, now this is starting to be a problem. Oh, and by the way, these two guys form half of the Grey Rune. And if we defeat the Grey Rune, we can go for three turns without having to draw 
a bad guy card, and that can be a huge boon as well. It gives it a chance to catch up. So, all right, guys that come out, we're really starting to build up some Frost Giants over there. Now, there is no weapon that makes you better at fighting Frost Giants, but I think it's time to start beating some of these back. So, for Heimdall's first action, wait, was it Freya? Is it Freya going or Heimdall? Well, I've lost track. Uh, no, no, it's Freya's turn. So Freya has three actions. All right. Well, uh, Freya, I think, will start out by fighting Frost Giants. She'll try to take out this one that prevents us from upgrading our weapons, because that's a, that's a bummer. So, although, does she want to recruit some more guys from the White Island? Because, you know, this is a pretty good bag. We've, we've done our best to make it a reasonable bag to draw. It'd be good to have some humans, but here's the thing. If, even if she rolls blank, she could give up all three of her elves, and she has a guaranteed success. And if she rolls well, she only has to give up enough elves to make up for whatever she misses. So, I think she's happy with it. She's just going to start frying Frost Giants. So, let's go. Um, she doesn't have any, any Vikings to commit, so she's just going to roll black. Or not, she rolled white. So, that is a failure. Oh, wait! Oh, shoot, shoot, shoot! Hold on a second, hold on a second. I forgot. This guy, or no, this guy means that all Frost Giants have four health. So she needs four. So that means if she fails, she can't win. So with that in mind, her first action is not going to be to roll because I forgot. These guys are all a bit tougher. Her first action, she's going to get some backup. She could just trade with me and take some of my Vikings, but she's going to, well, again, we're stuck. We can't move to the right, but we're just going to keep on going back to that well. Her first action is she's going to draw. She's going to draw three, and they're going to be all Vikings. One, two, three. That ain't bad. Two Vikings, and a demon goes back. That was her first action. Now her second action, she could do it again if she wants, because she can go to the same place twice. Or, she cannot get a weapon, and we, we do have to worry about Loki. We're going to have to start pushing him back eventually, but a lot of Loki cards have come out. I bet you we won't see any more Loki cards for a while. Her second action now, she has enough. So, I think, for her second action, she will commit one Viking... And she's hoping to roll well, but if she doesn't, she can give up all three elves to finish off. And she will try to take out the guy who is making all the Frost Giants stronger. So, remember, Freya, always bet on black. Green will do. All right, so that's two, three. Oh, no, no, three. She already put the guy up. So three. So she has to give up one elf, and that was four. And this guy is toast. All of these guys, they're now a little bit weaker and easier to beat. And um, Jen, or Freya has gotten the first of the four pieces of the blue rune. So we'll just put that over here. We start collecting our runes. But these guys are still fighting. Okay. So that was her second action. I think for her third action, she'll keep fighting these guys and try to take this guy out so we can start getting towards collecting that blue rune. So now she needs three. She'll commit a dude. And she'll roll. And she'll roll black. No, she won't. So, she committed one dude, she needs two more, so her other elves go back, and she beat this guy, and now we have two steps of the blue rune. We need to find the other ones, and to find those other ones, we could wait for Loki to summon them, or we could just start attacking and, you know, basically kind of playing go fish with frost giants. All right, so those were her three actions. She recruited, and then she fought two, and put down two frost giants, but in the process, she lost all her elves. But that just means we can start recruiting them again, because those elves are eternal. Whereas the, the mortals, they keep going back to hell, and then we have to get them back into purgatory, so the Valkyries can come and find them, etc., etc. So that was it. Back to big bro. Hey, Fenrir, the wolf, is moving up. And so he wants to start pestering us again. That means, remember, Frenier has four actions, but we need to start rolling. Since he's only level one, as long as we roll anything but black, the first action will put him down. Oh, so he's wasted one of his four actions? Okay, on the second. So we put him down. He has calmed down. Now, it's interesting. When the wolf moves all the way up here, and he's at the, he's at the top level, and you pretty much you only have a 33% chance of success, you might fail turn after turn after turn. A character could fail on all their actions, and then the next player has to keep trying to calm the wolf down. So the wolf, early on, he's not too bad, but later on, he's a real problem. But anyway, so on my second shot, so that means Frey only has two more actions. Next action will be, well, it won't be getting another weapon because of this guy. So next action will be, hey, let's recruit an elf because they've suddenly shown up again. Uh, next action will be, let's go on ahead and, well, we're not too terribly worried about what she's going to see. So I've got one more action. I've got an elf. 
I can't do that. I want to I be able to start getting weapons again. So we're going to put that Frost Giant down. So we're going to attack this Frost Giant. We need a three. And how are we going to do it? If we just use three humans, boom, we instantly succeed. But let's use two. And then we have the elf as a fallback if we need it. But let's see how well we do. Whoa, okay, so we use the two humans. We got nothing on the die. So we'll use our elf and we put this guy down and we have started collecting our gray rune. And now we can go back to visiting the dwarves. So that was Frey's turn. Back to Freya. Cert asserts himself. And remember, Cert is one level higher because of this frost giant. And now what he wants to do is he wants to put more fire giants into a bag. Let's see which one he does. The white one, of course. He's still a level one, so he puts one fire giant into the white bag. And Freya is up. Freya, who's particularly good at fighting um, the, uh, the Midgard Serpent, is uh, no reason to fight right now because it's all the way down. So she's got three actions. What is she going to do? She is completely without helpers. But look at all these guys. She could, I think her first action will be, well, how many are her? One, two, three, four, five. Her first action will be sending. Oh, wait, oops, I forgot. Wait a minute. Did we take out? Oh, we took out this guy. The Whirlpool is clear. We can start using Valkyries and move over, start moving over here again. So her first action will be, or we can just dump a whole bunch of guys in the white bag and just keep drawing from the white bag. Hmm, let's see here. It would be good to start rebuilding our forces. She can't fight at all. And again, I mean, we're not too terribly worried about the bad guys right now. We're, we're in a good position to push them back when we need to. Remember, we always have our get out of jail free card to push them back. I think the first thing she'll do is her first two actions, she loves elves. So she'll collect two elves. And then her last action is she'll reseed the white bag. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. So the white bag is a good place to go recruiting again. Not bad, not bad. All right, so that's it for Freya. Back to Frey. The wolf. Oh, all right. So once again, Frey finds himself locked in battle. Let's see if he can um, calm that wolf down. He's still anything but black, right? Yes, anything but black. Whew. Okay, the wolf has calmed down. He has wasted one of his four actions. Now let's continue. He's got three more actions. Now the wolf is about to cross the line, which point he gets tougher. So I think it's time to put that wolf back. But first, because the dwarves are available, let's upgrade to level three of uh, Gleipnir, or however you say the, these chains that we use to chain the dog. If I can find it in this, it's going to be the very last one, isn't it? Yes, it is. Of course, it's the last one. So we've got a level three weapon. That's his first action. His second action will be to get the last elf. And his third action, because he wasted an action on fighting the dog, his last action will be to fight the dog. So he's got three. He will commit one Viking and then roll for the rest. And he got one. So one plus one plus three, the dog is back. That was it for Frey. Freya says, oh, Neat Hog, arguably the worst one. So he moves forward and he pulls whoever's in last place up. But don't worry, Freya can push that guy back. But see, now we're starting to get a little bit more nervous. Um, well, again, it went five guys across this line. So we're still doing okay. Freya, what's up? Um, my goddess? Let's see. You know what? I think the time has come for her to start just out and out attacking frost giants and see if we can build up for these runes. So she's just gonna not attack the one who is powering up cert, she's gonna attack blind. But before she does, the first thing she's gonna do is she is going to, she's gonna use the Valkyrie. She could stay here, she can move to the right, but then she wouldn't be able to recruit anybody. She's gonna stay here because we've made the white bag a wonderful place. She is gonna draw three Vikings. One, two, three. No, she's not. That was pathetic. All right. Well, that was her first action. Her second action is she's going to commit that Viking to fight a frost giant. She needs a total of three. She's got one, two, and she has to give up an elf. Three. Let's see who she beat. This guy. This is the red rune. So we have started building up the red rune and we've prevented him from ever coming out. So that was right. So she, we drew, we fought him. She's going to fight them again. Oh, but she might fail, because she's only got one elf. In fact, yeah. Man, why did she draw so few humans? Her, th her last action, she's gonna recruit some more. And this time she's gonna do a little bit better. One, two, three. I wanna see humans. 
That's more like it. Very nice. So she's set up for the future. Okay. My turn. Or Frey. The dog again. Oh, that pup. Uh, fortunately, Frey is the one who has extra action, so he has to keep fighting. No black. Phew. Okay. So we've wasted one action fighting the dog. Let's push him back again. Um, so let's give up one Viking. And so we've got one, two, three, four. And okay, so he's pushed back again. He's not crossing that line. So that was our first action. No, our first action was calming him down. Our second action was pushing him back. And now we've got two more actions. Um, you know what? Two more actions. I think we're going to keep on trying to dig for to complete some of these rooms. So let's go on ahead and attack here. We will commit two. That's we have two power plus. One power means we don't have to waste the elf. Let's see who we beat. Ah, the second red. So we are now halfway to building the red room. All right. So that was it, right? We fought the dog. We, we, we calmed the dog down. We fought the dog. That was our third. Oh, we got one more action. Last action. Let's go on ahead. Let's actually just move up so that we can start moving over and get to these really good islands. Because if we can start recruiting from the Black Island, we will really rake in the Lost Souls. So that was it for Frey. On to Freya. Loki says, hey, I'm getting close. I'm coming home, Dad. And so another Frost Giant comes out. It's the third red. We are very close. Now this guy, he makes Loki more powerful. So now Loki is harder to push back. And that's starting to become a threat. But we're still doing okay, I think. Okay, so uh, Freya's up. What does she want to do? Well, she wants to beat this guy so we can get very close to finishing a rune. Um, the red rune is we can pick any three and move three, three back, three different enemies back one space. That is a really big deal. Um, let's see. So, for start, first thing she's going to do is she's going to Valkyrie. So she's going to hop over here and draw from the green bag. Let's see what we get. One, two, three. Three humans. Her second action, she's going to jump over here because she gets to visit the same place twice. The, the precious black bag. As long as we can stay here, we need to, we need to milk this bag for all it's worth. Because if I recall correctly, there's only three in there. Is that right? Although, if our, actually, I think, I think an extra fire demon was put in here. But still, very unlikely we're going to pull fire demons. It's going to be all Vikings. It's going to be a Viking party. One, two, three. One, two, three. I'm feeling good about these ones. Oh, I dropped one. Here we go. Oh, you stupid fire demon. All right, so, but still, look at that army of brave souls ready to fight. So, she, um, she went here. She went here again. She's got one more action. Let's put uh, Satung down. So, she will commit two, two dudes, because she's got plenty. And she'll get the last success right there. And so, this guy's put down, and we have almost finished the red room. And Loki has been depowered. Okay, Frey's turn. Hey, remember this? Okay, there we go. And Frey, for once, this is the first time in a while, you get to do all four of your actions. What are you going to do, buddy? Well, first of all, we're going to keep drawing from that black bag. And oh, wait, oh no, we're not. I forgot the power. Dang it. The power is. And now. The blue island stays sunk. Oh, that is bad timing. Well, at least we got to pull from there. Shoot. Oh, well, okay. So we're not going to pull from the black bag because of the stupid sea serpent. Um, oh, let's see. I'm good at... Uh, let's go on ahead and get my last uh, hell weapon, for starters. That's my first of four actions. And then my second of four actions. I could just push hell all the way back or the dog, but I'm not really worried about either of them. You know what, my second action, well, I can't get another weapon because I've already done that. My second action, do I want to recruit some more? What the heck, let's get some recruiting done. No, my second action, let's put one, two, three, four, five guys in the white sack. And my third action, let's recruit from the white sack. One, two, three. Nice. And for my fourth bonus action, since I am the god of one bonus action, um... Yeah, I'm tempted. Uh, let's go on ahead and take this Frost Giant out, because sooner or later we have to fight Surt, and nobody's very good at him, and he's powered up. I'm going to take out this last Frost Giant. Okay, so um, we need three. Let's give up one, two of these guys, and then let's roll the difference. Failed, so I'll use my last elf. 
to get this guy out. And so now we are halfway to two runes. That's nice. And almost finished with a rune. Wow, that's really cool. Okay, next up. And we're almost about halfway through the deck. And Greeny moves up. Greeny is dangerous. He moves up and he pulls another one up. And it's our choice, the dog or hell. Let's make it hell. And so now, remember, if five characters cross this line and two of them have, we, we have until the end of that round to push them back or we lose. So we need to start pushing these guys back now. We've been ignoring that for too long. So Freya's turn, but she's got all the helpers in the universe. For starters, let's once again wage war with that crazy serpent. She's got three. Let's go for four. Five, six, doesn't have to use an elf. Serpent, go home. Let's do it again. She can, she can visit Asgard twice. For a second one, she's gonna fight that serpent again. Again, she'll give up one. To, so she's got three, four, nothing. She'll use her elf. So all the elves are taken. And he goes all the way back to the beginning. So that's bought us some breathing room. We don't have to worry about that. We certainly don't have to worry about this line. Okay, so that was, and she's got one more action now. She misses her elves. Let's get one of those elves back. That's it, back to me. The wolf again! Oh my gosh, this wolf just hates me. So once again, I'm going to have to waste turns. All right, but we got him. So that's my first action. I've got three more actions. Okay, so, um, and I should go on ahead and push the wolf back or hell back, one or the other. I do not want the wolf to cross the line because if we start getting to the point where there's only a 50-50 chance, that could really start eating our time. So the second thing I'm going to do is, oh, but I have no L. First thing, so first thing was I calmed her down. Second thing, I get an elf. Third thing, I will commit one. And so I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Back you go. So I got an elf. I got him. And I, I calmed her down. One more action. Uh, let's let's uh, go on ahead and recruit. I'm feeling good about it. We've dumped. Oh no, let's go on ahead and just put five more guys in the white bag because we've got so many of them built up. One, two, three, four, five. So Freya can do some recruiting. All right, there we go. That was it for me. Bad guys say, hey, Cert, who by the way is no longer leveled up, he crosses the line. He's now at level two. That means he's going to start putting two fire giants in the bag. Uh, in the black bag. He just, he just made the black bag a little bit more a less attractive. But you know what? We can't even get there anyway. So that's it. And he's crossed the line. We now have three guys uh, who've crossed the first line. And what is Freya gonna do? She's still only good at, well, she, now, now's not a good time to fight the serpent because the serpent's doing really well. You know what I think we're gonna do? We're gonna have, we're gonna go ahead and use this special power. First power is to visit the sacred grove and push Loki back. Because if Loki crosses over, he would pull out three frost giants. That would be a bummer. And now that we've reset this, we can start building it up again if we feel like so. Her first action was she did that. Her second and third action will be to start building back up, and then she's done. Okay. Cert says, I'm I'm moving up, so you better get the party started. So I've got four actions. What do I want to do? Do I want to start building a weapon to fight him? Because he's starting to be a real pain in the butt. Um, or do I keep fighting? Because if I can get the last red rune, and it could be this, then I, we could send three guys back and we'd really be ahead of the curve. Well, you know what? Whatever we're going to do, I think you, you'll have to imagine because that's as good a place to stop as any. I'm running low on battery. And that, folks, is the first half of the game of Yggdrasil. And now, if you'd like to hear some final thoughts, you can hit that little eye up in the top right corner of the screen in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1.